With your weather bug forecast from coast to coast, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik. We're taking a look at what's making weather headlines as we wrap up the work week. And we certainly have a wide variety of weather conditions going on across the nation with a plunge of colder air across the northern tier of the nation. Precipitation has even changed over the snow in portions of Colorado and into western Nebraska, where flakes were flying through the overnight hours. And that colder air will gradually move eastward. But as those skies were clearing, out. Many areas are dealing with frost as we start the day across the northern tier of the nation. So plants that were sensitive to that cooler weather may be impacted with this cold air. Further south, it's a completely different situation. A tropical system is what we're tracking along the southern edge of Florida near Miami, Fort Lauderdale and out through the Keys. It's not officially a tropical cyclone yet, but as it moves towards the Gulf of Mexico, it may become more organized as we look through the weekend into next week. Nonetheless, so we're expecting widespread, persistent and heavy rain across South Florida throughout the weekend and those rainfall totals may be impressive by the time it's all said and done. As we set our forecast into motion, this area of high pressure shifts eastward. Frontal boundary across the southeast slides off the coast. That cooler air moves in just south of the Great Lakes. The hot weather, that's all down towards the southwest, but we certainly have a fall-like feel in the air across the north, even though temperatures were in the 30s as we started the day across portions of Montana, back up to 60 this afternoon in Billings. Only in the mid-50s, though, from Minneapolis down through Chicago, a little bit hotter as we look down toward the Gulf Coast with a high temperature of 91 in New Orleans, staying soggy in Atlanta, topping out at 89 degrees, and more sunshine in the northeast, a beautiful 75 with dry conditions in New York and the heat in the southwest. How about 102 for Phoenix?